morning, it's Sunday 12th of June 2016. This is Sylvia Shwemurti and you're listening to the newspaper reviews on www.adivanenj.com. Let's now look at the paper highlights from today's newspapers. The top highlight in Sunday Times says, War Crimes Probe. President says technical assistance only if necessary, but no foreign judges. President Maitripala Sirisena made clear in an interview with the Sunday Times that any technical assistance to the proposed inquiry into alleged war crimes would be without any commitments or conditions attached. His remarks came on the eve of the United Nations Human Rights Council's 32nd sessions which begin in Geneva tomorrow. A resolution co-sponsored by the United States and Sri Lanka called for the establishment of a judicial mechanism of Commonwealth and foreign judges, defense lawyers and authorized prosecutors and investigators to probe alleged war crimes by troops and tiger guerrillas. We don't need foreign judges. We can resolve any problem within the country without foreign intervention, the president reiterated commenting on his previously declared position. The highlight in the middle says, Coast Gamma Inferno, armies lost more than 5 billion rupees. The devastating fire at their central armory in Coast Gamma last Sunday has caused a loss of 5 billion rupees or more, Army Commander Krishanta De Silva said yesterday. While the reconstruction of the installations has begun, he told the Sunday Times, the premises will no longer be used to store ammunition. Stocks that have remained are now being moved out to areas that are not heavily built up civilian locations, General De Silva said. And the highlight at the bottom says, Luxury vehicles for ministers, funds were given in April. Amidst growing protests against the government's now suspended move to allocate a huge amount for the import of luxury vehicles for ministers and deputies, it has been now revealed that the Treasury had transferred the funds in April while the supplementary estimate was presented last Tuesday. The Treasury had transferred billions of rupees including around 1.17 billion rupees for the purchase of vehicles for 32 ministries to the relevant ministries, departments and other spending units. Let's now look at the paper highlight in Sunday Observer. The top highlight in Sunday Observer says, Salava fire probes to dig deep. Seemingly oblivious to the unexploded massive heavy artillery shell lying dangerously in front of them, this elderly couple have only their umbrellas to shelter them as they stand forlornly amid the rubble of their totally shattered home in Salava. In the background, soldiers struggle to remove their munitions shown by the blasts. Another highlight says, Government tight-lipped over Mihin Lanka closure. The government yesterday was tight-lipped on speculation in airline industry circles that the Sri Lanka's last ridden budget airline Mihin Lanka is to wind up. Public Enterprise Development Minister Iran Rikmaratna, however, refuted rumors that the government has taken any decision to liquidate the company. We have not taken any decision to wind up anything, he said when contacted by the Sunday Observer. Industry sources indicated speculation including questions being raised by some Mihin employees that the airline would be shut down. Founded in October 2006, the airline has a cadre of over 300 and fleet size of four aircraft. And the highlight at the middle says, Four major megapolis projects approved. Four major development projects with planned investments of at least 2 billion rupees have been approved by the megapolis project team for implementation. Chairman, Western Region Megapolis Planning Project Ajita de Costa Cho, the Sanjay Observer. The four projects identified by the team are an elevated road system into the metropolitan Colombo, a multimodal commercial hub in Peta, Colombo, an industrial zone in Mirigama, and a comprehensive flood retention control system for the Kalani River. Let's now move to the paper highlights in Ceylon today. The top highlight says, Crucial Maitri Mahindran talks this week. Amidst mounting pressure on the government to remove Central Bank Governor Arjuna Mahendran, who is facing various charges including an alleged involvement in a treasury bond scam, President Maitripala Sirsena has scheduled a crucial closed-door discussion with the tribal official this week. Another highlight says, Some gave evidence to attack JVP. Another highlight says, Post flood conditions table. And the highlight at the bottom says, Many want me to run for president. We brought you the paper highlights from today's newspapers and we'll get back to you with more news tomorrow. Thank you.